So this is now how we are going to solve for the length and the bearing of the closing line. So again, we'll be solving for CL. Sorry. CL, summation north and south latitude of lines AB, AE, and DE or AD. So this one, you'll have... Uh, 630.55 minus 579.3 Okay, so we have positive 51.25 Same we do for CD We also have positive 997.39 So the length of line BD, the closing line is this one and to get the bearing, so, malo naman mo, it's only, okay, we will now isolate this triangle, okay, so that we will be solving for the unknowns. So, when we isolate the triangle, okay, so, ang bearing ni line, um, na, sa closing line is south, uh, 87 degrees, for minutes. Okay, so ang reading the I by the way is uh dapat ano siya? Clockwise. So DE K okay, then EA then AB. Okay. So puro forward uh, bearings. So, gamitan natin yung bearing. Bili ang katong maligtad niya. Okay? So, now have this one. This is now the isolated triangle. I-redraw lang na to. Okay? Okay. So, as computed, this is this is the closing line with a length of 998.71 and then it's bearing no, from forward bearing from B to D is south 87 degrees 4 minutes to the west or southwest. Okay, and then bearing 4 bearing 4 line this is station C bearing 4 line CD is southwest okay, so southwest 56 degrees 13 minutes Okay, and then bearing for BC, northwest, 56 degrees, 55 seconds, so north to west, 56 degrees, 55 minutes, rather. So, if this is 56, 55, this is also 56 degrees, 55 minutes. Okay, and then... This is also 56 degrees, 13 minutes. Okay, and then this one, this angle, okay, that is also 87 degrees, uh, 4 minutes. Okay, so this is 87.04, then this is also 87.04. 
Okay. Uh, backward bearing. So, from south, forward bearing, southwest, um, backward bearing, northeast. Okay. So, we will now get the unknown length. So, this is the unknown length for CD. This is unknown length for BC. Okay. So, let's have, we need the interior angles of this triangle. And then this one. Okay. So, okay. Angle. 56 degrees 13 minutes plus 56 degrees 55 minutes 113 degrees 8 seconds this one this is 180 degrees minus 56 degrees 55 minutes minus 87 degrees 4 minutes 36 degrees 1 minute okay and then this one this is 87 degrees 4 minutes ito minus ito para ito may 1 so minus 56 degrees 13 minutes 30 degrees 51 minutes okay so meron na tayong interior angles so pwede ulit natin gamitan ng sine law okay because we have a partner that uh, given one side its opposite side is also uh, opposite angle is also given so you could use that so we have 998 Point seventy one over sine of its opposite angle which is 113 degrees 8 minutes that is equal to let's say we want to get uh, the length CD, uh, BC muna so BC that's divided by the sine of its opposite angle so if this is line BC its opposite angle is this one 30 degrees 51 minutes then for line CD, okay, we have the length CD over sine of its opposite angle, which is this one, 30 deg uh, 36 degrees, 1 minute. Okay, so for BC, okay, in this case for BC, we'll have, uh, so transfer lang dito, numerator, we'll have 998.71 sine of 30 degrees, 51 minutes over sine 113 degrees 8 minutes okay so the length bc is 556.93 meters for length cd that is so leap uh, change lang natin ng 36 degrees 1 minute kasi ito ilipat natin doon we have 638.63 meters yan okay so we already got the um, lengths of BC and CD We are now going to proceed to the next case of adjoining unknown sides. Third, so what if the bearings of two sides are unknown? Let's have an example. So, yan. To. Okay. Given the following sketch and tabulated data for a closed traverse in which the bearings DE and EA have not been measured in the field that remain these unknown directions. So, this is now the given data and this is the given sketch. Okay, and we are to 
get the bearing of e a, uh, e a or a e and line d e okay so itong hyphenated lines are the lines that have unknown data and while the others the solid lines are the lines with complete data length and bearing okay so again this is the given um data so kaning latitude departure given siya sa example but should still know how to get these values okay so again if these two adjoining sides are unknown then we need a closing line to, uh, we need to get the, the length and bearing of a closing line a closing line for a traverse composing lines with complete data so we have the lines AB, BC, CD and this is the closing line line DA okay so line AB bearing southeast line BC bearing southwest and then line CD southwest also and then yon so we'll have to get the data for the closing line of this traverse okay so we already know how to we'll just add we'll just get CL and CD okay with this given data can and then we already know how to get the length using this formula so this is now the length of the closing line and the bearing okay so this is now the bearing 13 degrees 44 minutes north east so that is from d to a <coughs> okay so we need to isolate the drawing we will now isolate the triangle triangle composing the unknown bearing lines with unknown bearings and the closing line okay so we'll have uh, these unknown bearings okay Okay, so as uh, this is A, D, and E. So we already solved for, this is the closing line, A, D, or D, A rather. So the, the bearing is 13 degrees, sorry, 13 degrees 44 minutes northeast. So north to east. 13 degrees 44 minutes okay hindi mo maklaro mo lang ah yan okay and then so this is also 13 degrees 44 minutes okay and as computed also the length for the this closing line is 2407.46 Yan, gisaw na rin kanina. Ito. Okay, and then given ang length ni line DE uh, that's 2506.94 So line DE the length is 2000 ayan. 506.94 then for line EA or AE the length is 1737 for 0.98 1737.98 yan so we have to get um teka lang bearing of these two lines itong line at saka ito na line 
Okay, so bearing for this line, line DE, we need this value, uh, we, we need this bearing, nasa northwest siya na quadrant, assuming, and then itong EA, nasa northeast siya na quadrant. So we'll have to, bearing EA, we have to solve for that, and then this one, bearing uh, DE. We also have to solve for it. Okay? I sorry. Mm. So, if this is bearing EA, this one also is bearing EA. Kalang. Bearing EA. Okay? From south to east. And then... If this is bearing DE to north to west then dito forward uh, and backward bearing south to east that's also bearing DE alright so the interior angles before we use sine or cosine law the interior angles should be in terms of the unknown bearings okay so in this case let's say this is angle um, alpha, sample lang. And then the interior angle here, let's just say this is, um, this is angle um, phi. Okay, and then the angle here, okay. This is angle, um, ano ba? Theta na lang. As sigma na lang. Okay? So, kunin natin ang, well, since th these bearings here are known, so this is also unknown, and then even if we have the bearing here, we don't have this bearing, this is also unknown, so this is also unknown, and then the angle here, interior angle, since this is also unknown, then this is also unknown. Okay? So, kailangan we would be able to get the one or two of the interior angles to help us determine these, these unknown bearings. In that case, we would be using pag ito na problem. We can't use sine law because we don't have a length uh, known length with a known opposite angle because all of the interior angles are still unknown then we this is the time this is one of the cases where we need the cosine law so since we are more of looking for the angle then we will be using this uh, formula of the cosine law so again mm -hmm. what angle do we want to get maybe we'll have to get this angle first okay angle sigma so in that case the the cosine cosine of angle sigma is equal to okay so, uh, sum of the squares in the numerator sum of the squares of the sides that is adjacent to it Okay, so adjacent lines niya is this one and this one. So we have 2407.46 squared plus another adjacent line of this angle, 2506.94 squared. Then minus the length opposite of the side opposite to it, which is this one, 1737.98 squared yan okay and then on the denominator you have 2 times this length 2407.46 times this length adjacent side 2506.94 yan so we could get uh, angle sigma this angle okay so, para makuha yung angle, since this is the formula for cosine of this angle, 
then we'll have to make clip at of cosine so here it becomes arc cosine yan so we'll have this one shift and then press this one ah, sorry ulit shift then press cosine so that arc cosine ang maglabas then we'll have we will type this one you have 2407.46 squared plus 1506.94.94 squared minus ano yan 1737.98 squared divided by 2 times 2407.46 times 2506.94 okay so we'll have uh, we have 41 degrees 21 minutes 33.69 seconds so ito yung interior angle here so this interior angle is 41 degrees to 21 minutes 33.69 seconds ito na angle so, from here, we could get the bearing DE. So, we already know how to do that. We'll have this entire interior angle minus this angle will be the bearing of DE. Daba? So, we have bearing DE equals okay, the whole angle. That's 41 degrees, 21 minutes, 33.69 seconds. Okay, then minus this angle, 13 degrees, 44 minutes. Para matira, ito na angle, bearing of DE. That will be, okay, 41 degrees, 21 minutes, 33.69 seconds. Minus 13 degrees, 44 seconds. That's 27 degrees, 37 minutes. 33.69 seconds. Okay. So, na yun. Okay. So, uh, since dito yung forward bearing from D to E, okay, that's north uh, west. So, yan, northwest. west. Sa bearing, dapat na direction. And then, what else? Aha. Uh -huh. So if this is third, if this is twenty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty-three point sixty-nine. Okay, this one is also bearing the E, which is twenty-seven degrees thirty-three. Ah, sorry. 27 degrees 37 minutes 33.69 seconds okay so what we need now is uh, this bearing okay so since we already have the bearing right here if we will be able to get this one and we already have this one okay if we will be able to get this angle and we already have this angle, we will be able to get the bearing of EA. Or, if we will be able to solve for this interior angle phi, then, minus, uh, then plus this angle, which is given 13 degrees 44 minutes, then we'll be able to get this bearing EA. So, pwede ka dito, pwede din dito. So, dito na lang. So, we need to get this interior angle, angle alpha. So, paano yan? Okay, we already have uh, ano, partner length and opposite angle. So this one, this length already has an opposite angle, which is this one, determined to be 41 degrees 21 minutes 33.69 seconds. Now, we need this angle, and this opposite side has a given length. So we could use sine law. So by sine law, 
just write this length 1737.98 over sine of its opposite angle which is this one 41 degrees 21 minutes 33.69 seconds okay then we'll, we need this one so its opposite length is this one that's 2407.46 over sine of alpha the unknown angle so we need to put it here sine alpha lipat dito other side of the equation and it's one of 2407.46 sine of so ito lipat doon uh, 41 degrees 21 minutes 33.69 seconds then ito lipat sa baba 1737.98 eh 98 yan so we will get alpha so alpha now is the lipat tong sine na function dito magiging arc sine na siya sine raised to negative 1 so arc sine of this value is the value of the alpha okay so we have arc sine, so shift lang shift, then sine button para lalabas is arc sine okay, then you have 2407.46 sine of ayan 41 degrees, 21 minutes 33.69 seconds over 1737.98 okay So, this is now angle alpha, 66 degrees, 15 minutes, 2.2 seconds. Yan. So, we already have this angle, this angle alpha, this is 66, 15, 2.2. 66 degrees, 15 minutes, 2.2 seconds. Yan. So, since we already have this one, and we already have this interior angle alpha, we can now get this bearing. How do we do that? Simple lang. We'll have 180 degrees, angle of this straight line, 180 degrees, minus this angle, bearing of DE, then minus this interior angle, then ang maiwan is the bearing EA. dito tayo. Bearing EA therefore is equal to a 180 degrees minus this angle which is 27 degrees 37 minutes 33.69 seconds and minus this angle their angle alpha 66 degrees 15 minutes 2.2 seconds. So, ang um, bearing EA natin is love 180 degrees, 27, minus 27 degrees 37 minutes then uh, 33.69 seconds. Minus 66 degrees, 15 minutes 2.2 seconds. Yan. So, this is 86 degrees 7 minutes 24.11 seconds. So, tama lang siya since this did not exceed 90 degrees then it's correct that it is in the quadrant northeast. So, magina natin siya ng northeast na directions. So, pwede nato siya uh, your final answer for the bearing EA and then, final answer for another unknown bearing, bearing of DE, which is this one. Northwest, 27 degrees, 37 minutes, 33.69 seconds. Okay, so, um, importante lang, we know when to use sine and cosine law, how to, um, Combine the use of the two. So, 
Yun siya. Thank you.